Hello everyone, welcome back to Dekin Cuts. So during the India IMO training camp, there will usually be a couple of practice tests before the team selection test itself. And today I have selected this problem to go through with everyone because this is a good problem to check that you have a basic understanding of graph theory. So without further ado, let us take a look at what this problem is. Okay, so this problem is quite a mouthful, so I'll read a couple of statements and then pause to digest those statements and then continue on. So, there are N cities in a country, one of which is the capital. An airline operates bi-directional flights between some pairs of cities, such that one can reach any city from any other city. Okay, pause here for a while. This basically sounds like a graph setup ready. So basically, we have a simple graph G. The graph is connected because one can reach any city from any other city. And then we have a distinguished vertex which is the capital which I'll call V0. Okay, let's continue the problem. The airline wants to close down some, possibly zero number of flights, such that the number of flights needed to reach any particular city from the capital does not increase. Okay, pause here again. So basically, we say that a series of moves where we delete some edges, possibly none, but we keep the vertex of any, uh, sorry, we keep the distance of any vertex from V0, uh, it does not increase. Then we call this series of uh, moves a valid simplification. Okay, and the question as it continues says that suppose that there are an odd number of ways that the airline can do this. So suppose that there are an odd number of valid simplifications. Prove that the set of cities can be divided into two groups such that there is no flight between two cities of the same group. Basically, this is saying that prove that G is bipartite. Yeah, the definition of bipartite basically just means you can divide the vertices into two sets such that any edge uh, must be connecting from one set to the other. You cannot be connecting vertices in the same set. Okay, so once we rephrase the problem, it's actually much shorter. So you can feel free to pause the video to digest this problem uh, instead and maybe even give the problem a try yourself. Okay, so now I'll go through some motivation before going through the solution. Actually, the solution to this problem is quite straightforward and it's quite easy to derive. The ideas are quite intuitive. So let us think about how we might approach this problem. One angle you might approach is this thing about bipartite seems to be quite uh, useful. We know many facts about bipartite graphs. So what happens if G is not bipartite? It basically means that we have an odd cycle. Maybe we can do something with the odd cycle to prove our problem. Now, since we are trying to prove the contra positive, then what we really want is we want to show that there is an even number of valid simplifications. So somehow use this odd cycle to prove that there's an even number of valid simplifications. Okay, so let's think about our vertex V0 and we have the odd cycle. The odd cycle might be connected to V0 through some uh, complicated uh, ways that we don't know. But what inspiration can we have from here? Well, after drawing a few diagrams, you might be tempted to hypothesize that maybe there are two adjacent vertices on the odd cycle that are of the same distance from V0, and maybe we can uh, add or delete this edge to pair up one valid simplification with another, meaning if your valid simplification doesn't have UV, or, or rather it has UV already like deleted, maybe we can not delete it and still have a valid simplification. Conversely, if your valid simplification did not delete UV, maybe you can delete it and still get a valid simplification. So the whole crux of the proof then is just to uh, prove these two maybe statements rigorously. So this leads us very naturally to our proof. So as I've mentioned uh, in the motivation, we can assume on the contrary G is not bipartite, then it has odd cycle, and we want to show that there's an even number of valid simplifications. Okay, so for the first maybe, we formulate it as a lemma. There exist two adjacent vertices on the odd cycle of same distance from V0. 
Now, this is not too difficult to prove. Uh, how do we prove this? Even though we don't know how the odd cycle is connected to V0, well, Brad not. How we prove it is quite straightforward. So we assume on the contrary that, okay, we do not have such uh, adjacent vertices. Then what we notice is that, well, the adjacent vertices, right, must have distance from V0 that differ by at most one. This is a basic, uh, you know, like piece of observation from graph theory, because if you have uh, V0 connect to here, we can take this path and reach the adjacent vertex. So the distance of this adjacent vertex is at most one more than the distance of this. And conversely, if we have a path to this vertex, you can take the edge up and reach this other vertex. So the distance of this vertex is at most one more than the distance of this vertex from V0. So by combining the two directions, the distance from V0 must differ by at most one. And we assume on the contrary that they are not identical. So they just differ by one, okay? And this means that, I mean, quite naturally you have the odd cycle. So this leads you to think about taking the parity around the cycle. So if one of them is odd, then next one must be even, then odd, then even, and so on. By going around, you'll reach a contradiction. So quite easy to prove this lemma. And from now on, we are going to have two vertices u and v which are of the same distance from v0 i don't even need to care about the odd cycle anymore that is done and dusted now we prove the second maybe statement which is that we can add or delete uv to convert between valid simplifications let's prove one of the direction this is actually the slightly harder direction so we suppose a valid simplification did not delete uv if we also delete uv we still have a valid simplification. The proof of this? Well, let's follow your nose. What is the definition of valid simplification? We have any vertex W. We want to show that after we further delete UV, the distance of W from V0 does not increase. So after the first round of valid simplification, we also delete UV, distance of W does not increase. Well, clearly, if your shortest path, W, from V0, uh, does not use UV, then we are done. I mean, it does, deleting UV will not affect the shortest path. What happens if UV lies on the shortest path? You might be worried that, okay, we are doomed. But actually, the shortest path will never use UV. This might come as a surprise to you. But if you think about it a bit more, the proof is actually again quite intuitive. Why is this so? So if we assume on the contrary that the shortest path use UV and without loss of generality say it hits U first then take UV and then from V to, to W. Now the path starts with some sub path that goes to U. That sub path must be of length exactly L. It cannot be less than L because the distance of U uh, is L away from V0. The distance of that sub path cannot be bigger than L because we could then replace that sub path with this uh, path of length L and get an even shorter path to W. That would be a contradiction. So the first sub path, while it might not use this exact gray uh, path shown here, it is certainly of length L. So that the sub path all the way up to V is of length L plus 1. But then I can replace that sub path with a path of length L. So that will give me a shorter path to W, which is a contradiction. So quite straightforward. Basically, replace the part of the path up to V with the shorter path to V, which is of length L. Yeah, so. This proves the one direction uh, of our pairing. And now for the other direction, it is actually much simpler. Suppose a valid simplification deletes UV. We want to show that if we don't delete UV, we still have a valid simplification. Well, obviously, if you delete less edges, your distance is not going to increase. So you're done. Okay, but let's uh, write it out for those that need a bit more explanation. 
basically distance cannot come down when we delete edges. So if we have the distance of some vertex W in the original graph G, after we delete some edges but not UV, it can at most, uh, I mean it can only uh, increase but not decrease. Then if we further delete UV, it can possibly increase but not decrease. And by the definition of valid simplification, this part here uh, is of the same as the original distance. So for your valid simplification before deleting UV, you will still get a valid simplification. Yeah, so uh, the notation here is a bit sloppy, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. So now that we have proven both sides of the pairing, we can basically pair up all the valid simplifications, and so the number of valid simplifications is even, which is our desired contradiction. Okay, so that's all for the proof of this problem. I hope you found the problem instructive to brush up on your knowledge of graph theory. So stay tuned to the channel for more math videos as we prepare for the upcoming IMO.